Hi, if you're trying to hook up Google Analytics 4 and Bookio, uh, you're at the right video. So we've created a really simple template that you can upload into Google Tag Manager and then just publish it right onto your website and you're good to go. Bookio and GA4 will be working pretty much seamlessly tracking page views like usual and you'll even get add to carts and purchase events. So you get even better data than maybe even before. So I just wanna walk you through this a little bit real quick. Uh, actually, so I'm gonna make myself a little bit smaller here and I'm gonna start in Google Tag Manager actually. So if you have Google Tag Manager already set up, then go ahead and just select into your account. But I'm just gonna create a new one for people who don't maybe have one already. So just put in your, your name, so escape room company. Uh, and then the container name, I usually just put in the website. So I'll do escape uh, company dot com all right and then choose web here perfect all right hit create uh yep hit yes and the first thing you'll see it'll pop up with some code uh this is how google tag manager goes on your website so go ahead and grab this code put it into the header of your website grab this code put it into the body of your website uh, i'm just kind of setting this up as an example so i'm just going to hit okay uh, and keep moving here. But if you uh, didn't create a brand new Google Tag Manager account, this is what you're seeing right now. So you're just at your normal home for your Google Tag Manager. Now, what I want you to do is come over to admin and then come to import container. And here, select choose container file. And this is where you'll grab the file that you downloaded. Uh, and the download is in the description. You go take you to a web page uh, that looks like over here and you can click right here to download it and this will be a file that essentially has the entire setup already done for you uh, there's one tweak we're gonna have to do but it's just pre-configured so go ahead and click here hit open and then I'm gonna say uh, choose existing workplace workspace default and then instead of overwrite we just want to merge it in if you overwrite it uh, we will get rid of everything you had in here so just make sure you're merging it. And then I will say overwrite conflicting tags, triggers, and variables right here. Uh, because if we, uh, if you'd like try to set this up at one point, I kind of want the setups that I did to override them. So that way they're working properly. If you're worried that I'm overwriting anything, you can come down here to view detail change and you'll see all the new tags we're creating. If we are modifying anything or deleting anything, it'll show up here as well. So you can just reference this, make sure that we're not destroying anything too much in your Google Tag Manager. Uh, if you're confused by this or concerned or you see something being deleted you're worried about, uh, drop a comment, reach out to us. We'd be happy to talk to you about uh, what's going on there. So anyway, hit confirm. This should load the template into the workspace. There we go. Perfect. Bookio, Bookio. Uh, I'll walk you through this really quick and we do have one thing to edit, so don't bail out yet. Uh, follow along with me for just a few more minutes, all right? So in tags, we have the GA4 Bookio begin checkout. So every time someone gets to the point where they have to put in their credit card details, this will get sent to Google Analytics 4. Then Bookio purchase, every time someone checks out through Bookio, uh, Google Analytics 4 will receive like the escape room name, how much it costs, all that stuff. Really great for lighting up Google Analytics 4. Then we have the GA4 configuration and page view. This is like your standard uh, code, just fires on all the pages. So let's go into triggers. So we added two triggers, Bookio Begin Checkout and Bookio Purchase. Both of them do exactly what they sound like. They get triggered, or it's a trigger looking for when Bookio lets us know a Begin Checkout's happened or a purchase has happened. And then variables. So I put in two variables here. One is the G4 measurement ID and the other one is the value. Uh, the value is how uh, the rest of the triggers and tags and everything know how much everything costs. Keep that in there. That's also helpful if you're going to go set Facebook or anything else, really. Uh, and then GA4 measurement ID. And this is what you need to click. Open it up. And then I have here, add your measurement ID. Go ahead and click it. And then punch in your ID. If you don't know what your ID is, Go either, if you're watching this on the page, uh, it's just above the this video. If you're watching on YouTube, go into the description. I have a more detailed guide that'll walk you through it. And uh, it kind of looks like this, here we go. So find your Google Analytics 4 measurement ID. It'll walk you through where to grab it. 
that's where we want to put it. it starts with a G generally so go ahead go ahead and hit save saving and then come up here to the top right and hit submit uh, give it a descriptive name uh, this will let you know if something goes wrong you can always roll it back so we're just gonna say added GA4 bookio template info and hit publish saying like no one's listening perfect well if everything happened, if, if Google Tag Manager is on your website and you put in the measurement ID right, GA4 and Bookio should light up, should work perfectly together. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us um, or leave a comment. You know, come find us. We're happy to help. So thank you, and I hope this helps escape room owners out there. Talk to you later.